Hello, I'm Dorian McCoy. I'm Marlette Chavez Juarez. I am a sophomore here at the Harnett County Early College. Um, I'm Eva McCray. I currently attend um, Harnett County Early College. So here at the Harnett County Early College, the students here not only work on their high school diploma, but they also work towards their associate's degree, whether it's in arts or science. The Harnett County Early College really puts you directly on a path towards your career and college readiness, where, as I think, a traditional high school would just prepare you for it. Um, it really builds up, like, it teaches you time management when you're managing your college courses and your high school classes because you, like, you start to realize that you have a lot of work to do. Um, but it's not, it's not stressful. And that's something I learned. Um, you, like, stressing yourself out over it isn't going to help. So as long as you manage, you're able to make it through. And then you end up finishing with your two-year um, associate's degree. So there's an, like, What's it called? Um, advantage to coming here. We have various programs that assist you with various skills like job interview skills or presentation skills. It sets an example as to what you're going to expect in your future career in college environment. And for me, it has been able to like help me with my time management and how to use it very wisely. Let's just say they're very helpful along with the people in the office. They're always trying to help and make sure that we're okay. So, I mean, I think that it teaches you that the early college helps like for when you're adult, adulthood, like Miss McLean, she tries to help with um, our college work. So, yeah. I think this school has supported me with, like I just mentioned, my presentation skills, my speaking skills, and I've also, since I came here, I've been more motivated. I would just say starting the college courses, that was a big accomplishment for me, and actually finishing my first two, um, that was a big accomplishment, along with, they also support me in my basketball. Um, I know Miss Bird, she's always asked for my schedule. I haven't, <laughs> I haven't sent it to her yet. Whenever you complete the program here at Harnett County Early College, you will end up transferring to a four-year institution where you will earn your bachelor's degree. And as you're graduating, you will earn a diploma and an associate's degree of arts. Yeah, I think um, because we have like a smaller class size, you really get to know your classmates and a lot of us hang out with each other outside of school. And so it's really, it's no big deal. Yes, it's so <laughs> uh, We have things like presentations that we can attend. Some of these are informational where you're able to learn how to use your time or email etiquette. Um, some activities include Spirit Week. Um, uh, actually this Friday, today, tomorrow, Tomorrow, I'm sorry. <laughs> Tomorrow we're gonna have a social where everybody's gonna get together and get to have fun. So we do still have fun. I play basketball for Oak Hills High School, and after getting out of school around 3:15, I make my way over there for basketball practice. We usually um, he usually starts practice around when me and a fellow student at early college get there. Um, yeah, it doesn't really mess with my like academic career and like my schoolwork so I'm, I'm able to manage everything you know i, I um, personally my ninth grade year it was covid so i was worried about playing basketball in school but um i realized that coming to school it doesn't affect like anything that has to do with after school activities My name is Bobby McLean and I'm the Career Development Coordinator here at Harnett County Early College. One of the things that we offer um, for the students is they do get an opportunity to do their college credits in addition to their high school. So they will get an associate's degree along with their high school diploma and they'll get two years of transferable credit, um, which is to me is, is awesome. It prepares them for adult life. It prepares them with good study habits. It also is gonna help for the parents to save on tuition costs. Um, 
It gives the students an opportunity to identify what real college is going to be like or is like, and that transition that's going to take place within from leaving here to going to real college. So they get that, that feel of what college would be like and the expectations and the rigor. So they, they, they get exposed to a lot of stuff. Getting exposed to real world circumstances, real life circumstances, um, situation of what being college ready and career ready. It is a very big connection between what you are going to be doing when you go to college, if you choose to go to college. We offer you that, that real world experience. Come see me, I'll help you out. So here at the early college, something that I have noticed is extremely different is our smaller classroom sizes. Um, our classrooms have no more than 28 students in them. And so that allows students to really have a unique connection with each of their instructors here. Um, then when they go get their college experience, they're learning those skills to develop and to communicate with those professors. Uh, but we have a great liaison between CCCC and the early college to help our students transition into that program. So we have two clubs right now. We offer Beta Club and Student Government Association. So those students are really putting on activities within the school. Um, so we've had a Spirit Week back in October. We just had one for Career um, and Technical Education Month. We've also held um, food drives. We've done a unity tree, so the students were allowed to make ornaments, and they were a unified ornaments and different decorations to represent different cultures. So I, I believe that our students truly get to have fun while at school. It's not just all academics, but it's something that they can relate to their academics and improve themselves for their futures. Um, we have presentations with Chef D next door where they're learning how to cook. They're seeing him flamboy, um, flambe and just fire going and trying different foods, trying things that they might not get that experience in a regular traditional high school. So right now, currently, we have bus transportation. We have four buses um, and the buses will pick up from your home and drop off at home. So they, we have our own bus routes, our own transportation. Um, we have four amazing bus drivers that work throughout the county and then they serve us to, to drive for us. Yeah, we actually have, I feel like, I feel like it's a lot, it's a lot better here. So we actually have a mixer coming up on Friday that the teachers put together for us, um, which is basically like, I guess you can call it a dance. Um, it's, it's like a traditional high school, but there's freedom, like I said before. So like, like you're not coming here and it's always learning. Our teachers always make it fun in a way, and they're not so uptight about it. It's you're coming here because you wanna learn, so it's all your responsibility.